Be on the touchdown, they got called back. Did you guys see anything wrong? They said everybody was set. Did you guys see anything? Uh, I have not, and no, I did not see anything wrong. Um, I was actually just asking guys in the locker room. They said that I guess they had originally called or thought it was offsides, but they blew it, and then I don't know. I guess it was a miscommunication, but, yeah, it was pretty unfortunate. On the fourth down play, you hit the check down. Was that the design thing, or – you just saw the open man. Yeah, they they had dropped all eight guys back, and um, had everyone covered downfield. And I thought my best chance was to throw it to Brandon and make see if he could make a run for it. How much time elapsed, if any, was between when you thought you had a ninety-four yard touchdown to win the game and you saw the flag? Um. Well, they kind of had. They actually had blown the whistle, uh, and so the right the people on the right side of the field kind of had stopped. I know the receiver stopped, but the the linemen kept playing. And at first, I actually thought it was offside, so I just played it out and saw Farrow, you know, run for a touchdown. And uh, I didn't know to be excited or what. You know, I just wanted to wait to see, and it just unfortunate. Coach Elliott said before the game he wasn't one hundred percent sure that the focus was where it needed to be. Did you get that sense at all? Um. Honestly, no. Uh, I, th I felt like we had prepared and we, we were ready to play. I just, I'm not sure. Just didn't bounce our way today, I guess. He also said that, you know, obviously, you know, we're going to plan to throw the ball a little bit more today. You know, were they giving you some things that you were expecting or not expecting of the game, or was it you just trying to get in playmaker's hands like Farrell Cooper? Yeah, um, we knew coming into the game that we were going to try to chunking around a little bit more than we normally had. And uh, yeah, we had a pretty good day through the air. But, uh, you know, it, it's just unfortunate that we couldn't, you know, pull out a win. You know, and the, the, the um, field goals in the red zone, they really just came back to bite us today. I mean, three, three times in the first half, but it's unfortunate. Perry, after such a disappointing loss, are you concerned at all about the ability of this team to pull it together, especially mentally? Get focused and be competitive against Clemson. Uh, I, I think we'll be, you know, we'll we'll find a way to bounce back. Unfortunately, we've had um, too many losses this year where we've had to rally back. But you know, we will. We'll get, you know, I'm going to do my best that I can to get everybody rallied up for this last game. It's a big rivalry, very very meaningful to the fans in the state, and obviously to our football team. And you know, we're going to get ready to play. Perry, is everybody still together on the team in the yeah, locker room? Yeah, we are, and that's what. Uh, you know, a lot of people outside might be thinking that we're not exactly together. But, you know, when you spend so much time since January um, until now that you, you grow a bond with everybody and, you know, we, you know, we all love each other. And it's just, you know, very – it's just un really unfortunate the way um, today went and kind of how the season has gone. You guys aren't going to play in a bowl game. Do you guys look at this rivalry game as your bowl game? I mean, this is the last college football game you guys are going to play this year. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, that's that's all we got, and you know, big time rival like Clemson, we're gonna give it our all, and you know, see what happens. Or you know that people are gonna say either one they were looking past the Citadel, or two they were looking ahead to Clemson. Do you think either one of those is is legitimate? No, not necessarily. Um, I think that if we score touchdowns instead of field goals in the red zone, it's obviously a different ball game. Um, you know, that's a very, very difficult offense to stop, especially when you haven't prepared for it. And hats off to their guys. They did a heck of a job. Um, I actually know their quarterback. I've been to a few camps in high school with him. He's an awesome kid, and he played a heck of a game for them today. So I'm happy for him, and, you know, we, we just got to get ready to play Clemson next week.